Hello, Wastelanders. What a view, huh? Just kind of looking down on Libertalia. But that's not actually what I'm here to show you today. Today, I am here at Finch Farm. This is Ed, a.k.a. Gamer Gramps. And I'm going to show you the Minutemen's first real airbase. As you can see, we've got this little air traffic control area. Restricted area. Unauthorized persons are to keep out. Let's head upstairs for a minute. This is our control tower. Where we've got a phone so we can communicate. And where we have a radio so we can contact other settlements. And also to control our incoming air traffic. As you can see, we have three vertebrates that are all based up here at Finch Farm. I'll show you a little more about them in a minute, but everything is powered from these solar cells all up here. It's quite well defended. We've got missile turrets. We've got machine gun turrets. We also have this cargo loading area right here where a crane can reach down to the ground, pick up objects that need to be brought up. You look over here you can actually see the crane is well supported there is concrete hooked up in order to hold it up give us enough uh, strength to lift what we need up here and then let's actually take a look at the vertebrates i've used these red strobe lights on the ground to show the landing area for each vertebrate as well as a minuteman symbol specifically for them to land on each of the vertebrates has the Minutemen markings on it. Uh, I think just on the two doors and one on the nose. And in my head cannon, the way that I play the game, there are about eight or nine vertebrates that are wrecked throughout the Commonwealth. The Minutemen have been able to resurrect these by scavenging parts from some to repair some of the others. And as you can see, they've been able to put together three of them here. The fourth one that we've got is over in Sanctuary. That's where the uh, Minutemen Northwest Command Headquarters is at. And that's where our fourth vertebrate is. These vertebrates actually have dedicated crews to man them. And if we look down here, we have the crew's quarters. This is where the air crews can hang out and relax, but also where they are ready when needed and when called upon to go directly over, jump into their vertebrates, and defend the Commonwealth. As you can see, we've got six beds. That's for one vertebrate pilot for each vertebrate and one crew member for each vertebrate. They also have lockers in order to keep their... Uh, their items in. <clears throat> and you'll notice I haven't left any windows on this side of the building, and that is because we have Saugus Ironworks directly across from us, and we also have a set of gunners that likes to set up on this bridge. And so in order to make sure that we can defend ourselves from those gunners, we have plenty of defenses up here, several missile turrets. And they pretty much take out the gunners pretty easily, but just in case the gunners are going to take a pot shot at my pilots, that's why there's no windows on this side. Underneath, you can see that this is actually how I ran all of the electrical for the entire area. It all goes underneath, and it also gives us enough space so you can see and climb under there if you need to hunt down vermin, anything like that. But I had to do this in order to give me a nice flat landing spot for each of the vertebrates. So I decided to come here at night just because I really like how the lights play off of the different vertebrates. You'll notice that the only white light I have in the entire area up here is just here and then one inside of the little building, the shack on the other end. Everything else is all red lights. 
Again, that's to maintain your night vision and also, you know, I don't want to give people an easy target up here. The rest of Finch Farm down below is pretty quiet, pretty nondescript, and I did that on purpose. I don't want to attract a lot of attention up here, but if somebody is able to breach Finch Farm itself, which does have decent defenses, you can see from here, several machine gun turrets and machine gun turrets on the outer reaches, but along the sides we've got, I believe, six machine gun turrets, the pop-up turrets, and then we have three of the missile turrets and actually a fourth one up on top of the air traffic control. That's also to make sure that an unauthorized rotor bird is not allowed to take off from here or to land here. So that's pretty much my walkthrough of this. Uh, Finch Farm itself, like I said, nothing to show off much downstairs, but I really kind of like the, like the view from up here. I love the way the vertebrates look lined up like this. And I also kind of like this, the whole skydiving aspect of it. Just kind of love it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, consider giving it a like. And if you've enjoyed several of my videos, please consider subscribing. Thanks. Have a great day.